Hi guys, this is Shivarati. Welcome to Core Java Tutorials. In this session, I will explain map implementation. First, I will explain a hash map using the string object in this session. Later sessions, I will explain how to work with the user defined uh, objects and also hash table. So I am going to explain hash map using an example. So let us go ahead and create a new class. So class name I am giving as hash map demo. Hash map is a one of the another important uh, uh, implementation in the collections. So let us go ahead and start. Okay, so it is one of the map implementation as I earlier discussed about um, map it has a key and value relationship so I am using the generic concept so it, it is going to take uh, key as a integer otherwise I will modify to key as a integer and uh, value as a string okay so map equal to new hash map hash map okay so here integer comma string I need to import this map from the java dot it will package I'm giving this one also as hash map so now I have created a hash map and we need to import hash map from the java dot util package first I will explain uh, using an uh, integer and string value relationship uh, for the hash map in the next tutorial I will explain how to work with the user defined objects so I am going to add a few string object to this um, hash map string dot here the method to add to the hash map the method we are going to use the put in the case of uh, list and set it is add here this is the put so key I am giving as a 101 and value I am giving as uh, shivarity okay so like that I am going to add few more uh, properties a uh, few more uh, key and uh, value to this hash map and I am giving not 7 let us consider this as a and uh, chill up. I am randomly giving some names and uh, this is a test let us consider 1 not 2 and this is one not five. Okay, now I have I added uh, four uh, key and value paid to the hash map. Now we are going to iterate over this um, hash map. So hash map uh, it has a different uh, um, implement uh, different way how we are going to iterate when compared to array list or uh, hash set uh, hash set because in the case of uh, hash map uh, key and value will be there so this total row it consider as a one entry so in the map we have a uh, concept called as a uh, map um, one second so we need to first get the list of uh, key set and then using that we can uh, iterate over the uh, hash map so in order to get the key set hash map dot here we have uh, entry set so what it represent is entry set is nothing but it is going to represent a one row here okay so uh, this is good this uh, method will return a set of entry um, entry with the um, uh, key and value so I need to cast it using set of it takes map dot entry 
and it is going to take uh, two um, uh, parameters that okay. is inte inte integer comma string okay and then I am going to give as a entry set for this variable okay now I need to import this set from the java.util package so what it re entry set represent is it is collection of uh, it is group of all this hash map uh, uh, entry entry is nothing but each uh, row it consider each object it consider as a one entry okay now I am going to iterate over the, this entry uh, uh, collection using the for each loop for map dot entry of integer integer and then I have a string now I will give as an entry colon this is entry set for each entry we have a key and value pay relation so I am going to give key is entry dot get key it, re it, it returns the key that means first whatever the value we put the first and uh, value is concatenating with entry dot get value okay now it uh, it prints the key and value for the each entry in the hash map now I am going to run this program and see the output see the output you will see key and value 101 shivarity 102 celebrity 105 test and 107 it is taking as a ready okay so this is the uh, how we are going to uh, implement a basic uh, example for the hash map implementation now let us understand few properties of uh, hash map the first thing is hash map uh, allows key and value relationship or the key and value pair for the each object and second one is it does not um, it does not guarantee that it maintains the order or it is like a sorting order the um, uh, in which we are inserting and next one is it allows only one null value sorry null key and different null values what it means is if I am going to add hash map dot put I am giving null as a key and value as test one okay now when I run this program you are able to see that it is going to allow the null key if you see here null value is test one and if I am trying to again add hash map dot put null comma test 2 okay now what uh, hash map will do it is going to replace the existing uh, previous one with the latest value if you see null and test 2 that means if you are passing a same key and value multiple times then the uh, latest value is going to be override the old value so this is the one of the important concept of hash map it does not allow the duplicates also when you pass the same key with the different values the latest value is going to be override by the previous value hence you need to make sure that it allow it always it does not allow the duplicates and next one is it can allow the multiple null values what it, what it means is it allow only one key value as a null but you can have a multiple null for example I am giving here as a uh, null value okay null value sorry okay mm. I have given null and here also I am giving null now when I run this program you should be able to identify that here it is going to allow the null keys null value sorry 
so 105 has a value of null and 107 also value of null so the thing is if you are inserting a key with the null it accept only one null and uh, if you are it can accept multiple null null uh, as a values and also whenever you are adding a same uh, key with different uh, objects then the latest object is going to be override by the uh, overrides the previous values so this is the uh, high level uh, understanding of hash map and uh, one more thing is whenever we are defining the hash map the basic uh, um, uh, the ba basic implementation how we are going to define a hash map is new hash map of then we are going to pass but this is a very um, bad practice as hash map internally uses the bucketing system bucket concept what it means is whenever you create a hash map by default it is creating it is going to create a 16 buckets so once you are keep on adding the uh, object to the hash map this will be automatically increase the size of the hash map automatically it got increases so but in order to efficiently write your programs you it has a two uh, it has another constructor it is going to take a two arguments one is initial capacity this is the implementation i'm talking about for example initial capacity if i give 10 that means whenever i create an hash map it by default it is going to create in 10 buckets that is nothing but the 10 uh, object it can accommodate and another one is the load factor so load factor which says that how, if you define a let us consider a, this scenario 0 0.75 i am giving as an example okay I am giving a 0.75. What it means is, if you define a load factor as a ten, uh, initial capacity as a 10 and load factor as a 0.75, what it is going to do is, whenever it reaches 0.75 of initial capacity, then automatically it is going the hash map will increases the size and then it is going to do the rehashing. That is what the concept is just at high level remember that whenever you are going to define a initial capacity and load factor these are used to uh, efficiently manage the hash mm, memory or the hash map so i will explain uh, in detail how hash map works internally but at this point of time you can uh, remember this concept whenever you are creating a hash map there is a flexibility of you can pass the initial capacity and load factor based on these two uh, parameters hash map uh, uh, going to utilize these parameters to effectively construct or uh, uses the hash map while implementing as well as while retrieving the objects so hope this concept is clear and um, i will see you in the next uh, uh, session. Thanks for watching.